Okay, went to Trader Joe's after a follow-up to my dental appointment yesterday. So, what do we have? We have these come out, I think, last year too. And while they're not like insanely like amazing, the texture is nice, they're not too salty, so they're really good for like dipping into dips. And I have those two cases, I picked it from Walmart last week, so gonna use that for that or just to eat. This sparkling coconut water, I had one last night, so good. I want one every day. It has a little bit, okay, the San Pellegrino lemon, imagine like a way more toned down version, uh, less kind of like a tang and a zest, but the coconut flavor in here, it has like a slightly creamy vibe. I know that's weird for like a sparkling water, but incredibly well balanced. Pumpernickel pretzel sticks. I love everything pumpernickel, so this should be exciting. Um, a lot of new stuff that I haven't tried before. This French onion soup, excited, love French onion soup. I was on like a bagel kick right now, so I always, I also love English muffins. They're always expensive, right? Those like St. is it Thomas or whatever? These were $1.69, so I'm pretty excited to try these. The Alfredo sauce with mushroom, parmesan, and gruyere. I mean, I'm very excited for this. I tried to stay away from all the butternut squash and pumpkin flavored stuff because, ugh, I mean, it's like I want it, but then I have it and I don't like it, so excited. And to go with that, grab some cheese tortellini. We also have the Brussels sprouts caramelized onion ravioli. I got two because I'm like, I'm gonna like this, right? The Trader Joe's instant coffee. I love instant coffee. I know it's like, you know, there's brew this and French press that, but <laughs> I really do like instant coffees. It's what I have on a daily basis. I love the Cafe Bustello, but let's try this one out. The banana chocolate muffins, I had some last night. This is the pumpkin with cream cheese and walnut praline. I got these the last time I was there. These are pretty good. And we have their soft pretzels. A lot of things I haven't tried before, so I'm very excited. Okay, OOTD. Um, I'm not even kidding when I tell you I wear this kind of shirt every day. A lush tunic from Nordstrom, this is the black. These jeans are like coated denim and they're from Zara. I've got them at least five years ago, so I don't know about that. And then the boots are sorrel after hours. I feel like I have like Play-Doh legs, or is it me? Does this look unattractive? I don't know. Is that weird, should we untuck it? Does that look better? I feel like it looks better untucked. These are not the pants to be worn like up, right? All right, so yes, that's what we have going on today. Okay, so I've added this Marilyn and Me jacket. It's sweatshirt material on the outside. There's some faux leather accents and it has like this kind of soft fuzzy hood. Um, I had bought mine at Burlington for 30 bucks and I found it on the Nordstrom website for 60, so I mean, if you can find it in a Nordstrom store, or not Nordstrom store, a Burlington store, I would highly recommend. Last but not least, accessories. We have a Givenchy Infinity saddle bag. I love it. There's like huge textured like leather and then a huge chain. So it's very bold, but very simple. And for sunglasses, how can we show this? There we go. Ooh. So these are the Mew Mews that I wear all the time. I have two pairs of black ones, this pair. I got a gold pair, like a, like the hardware is gold and then it's like a blue, but these are like my fave. Okay, so I was at the container store to pick up containers, like these, the clear ones for like, that everyone's been using for makeup. And this was a floor display for $65. It was originally like double that. And I'm just like, Wow, because like it just looks like you know bins, but if you ever go to the container store, these are like so nice and so sturdy. So I had planned on getting some like huge cupboard that kind of like blend in with the furniture for like sumo stuff. But I mean, at the end of the day, I need sumo stuff to be accessible. So this is like perfect. We have his leash, the treats he has, his dog food, and then like his, I guess his beauty, his beauty drawer. <laughs> And then just like some extra things and then extra food and treats. So I'm like very happy about this. Like so accessible, but still kind of like white and blendy. So yes.
Okay, so this is like a little sneak peek with everything kind of thrown in haphazardly and we will slowly work on this. I'm excited. Okay, I don't know if you can see this properly. I think it's like very bright, but we have a lush tunic as usual tucked in. These pants are by Cloth and Stone and they're at TJ Maxx and Marshalls. They have a little bit of rips in them and then the boots are sorrel. So. The deal with these pants is, so this is, they look really baggy on me, they're a small, and so I got the small so that I could wear them over boots, and I also got an extra small that I could wear into boots that can, where they can be tucked into. So the whole thing is very like loose and blousy, but I still think it's like kinda fitted, kinda sorta. I mean, it's super comfortable. I mean, I could probably wear something super, like a very fitted top with it, but, um, I'm going to work. I'm not going into battle, so I um, thought I'd share that with you. And then the jacket is by BNCI. I had this last year. Um, a lot of you guys liked it. Uh, I think it was like 30 bucks. It's not um, real leather, but I got a backup of it. It was like 12 bucks or something. I don't know, I really love it. And uh, I tend to buy backups or two of something if I really like it as exhibited by like pants, etc. But like Sumo had eventually chewed like parts of the um, sleeves. So it has like a more like rugged look. Um, yes. Okay, good morning. I mean, I, we already talked, but still. Okay, so I don't know how much I vlogged this week. I feel like it might not be very much. Um, I was sick for a good part of the week sick as in like I didn't go to work on Monday and that is rare for me like I don't not go to work I, I usually suffer through things but I think Saturday I was already feeling a little I was like sneezing constantly like incessant sneezing and then I was at my brother's and he's I'm like do you have any medicine like which I don't even know why I said that because I hate medicine like any kind of call for cold medicine usually just makes me feel worse so I took it and then I like went about my day wasn't feeling that great like I felt really like fatigued very quickly like just walking around in a store was like you know so then Sunday I stayed home all day I like just like sat like, I was like sneezing to the point where like you know like when you get like those like spaz sneezes and they just won't stop and then I'm pretty sure <laughs> I threw my back out doing that so that was great so Monday morning I wake up I'm like my back hurts my I'm so tired like just I couldn't move I was just like this is like is this like what the flu was like because I've never been so sick with a cough or a cold where I couldn't where I feel like felt like I couldn't get out of bed it was like the most different I'm like this sucks <laughs> um, it's like when you're younger or I don't know when I was younger I like would pride myself I'm like I never get sick blah 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 and I did it until like now and I don't know so did go to work and then Tuesday Wednesday Thursday I still felt like tired I mean I went to work but I just felt really like just doing anything made me feel really tired so no vlogging so we're on Friday and right now we're heading to um, we me and Sumo are heading to Burger King I'm gonna get breakfast for the office like the front office and then um, croissant which is right hello so delicious um, and then to Starbucks we had made a purchase on like a website or whatever and they gave us like a $25 gift card to Starbucks so coffee for everybody um, god guys I just love a pumpkin spice latte they're so good and then the maple pecan I had one over the weekend I was kind of like not enthused I didn't really taste the maple in it like it very mildly and I barely tasted the pecan it wasn't like it didn't taste like a dessert in my mouth so yeah what else is going on Sephora VIB put in my order this morning I had a hundred like fifty bucks in store credit so is it it's like weird when you have store credit right because you're just like oh it's like nothing but like I have had the store credit for like months and then I had like a fifty dollar gift card and then Okay, so you can't use your, the Rouge Rewards, like if you have points that you turn in to get like a, a Sephora gift card, you can't combine the gift card with any promotions, which is so stupid, because I just put in an order with Ulta with a 20% coupon, and I had $155 in rewards that I've been like very like slowly saving this year, and I was able to combine them, so my like 250 some dollar order became like 48 bucks, which was super awesome. 
Sephora needs to just like get it together. I don't know why they're so stingy. They like, it's stupid. Anyway, I put two orders in, one with the 20% off and store credit and a gift card and a second order. I don't know why I could have just done this order anytime, but um, with a $100 gift card. And I did it so perfect where it was like, it was exactly $100, so I didn't have to pay a penny. Cause I looked at everything I wanted to buy for the VIB sale and then I tried to find something like, find like the amounts that equaled 100. I know, I mathed. I'm always so proud when I can math properly. Hey, come here, who's cute? Who's cute? Come on, baby. Hi, yeah, who's cute? Yeah, you're cute. Oh yeah, thank you. Thank you, honey. Oh, hi. Hi, so cute. Hi. Okay, so cute. 